All right, Shalom. All right, uh, we're the brothers out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. This is Gamal Yala. Brother Kashakwala. All right, first and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akina pushing out this truth and sincerity. All right. Um, now, uh, we, uh, we're basically going to do a, a lesson, all right, based off of a, um, a, a precept um that that me and the brother basically came across all right and basically in regards to if you need direction okay because uh sometimes in this truth all right sometimes you just kind of lose focus of of you know uh where you're headed you know your your position in the camp you know what i mean sometimes you just kind of you kind of will lose that sense of dire direction you know but you got to remember that the Lord basically has us on 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 these individual missions, OK, to basically uh, uh, wake up the elect. So this is the definition of direction. It says, oh, listen to this. It says uh, action of directing or guiding a uh, making straight a straight line. OK, directing towards something. All right. So hey, uh, one thing, a uh, making straight. Right. So you want your path to be straight when we're on this path to righteousness. OK, we want a straight line to to uh, the kingdom, you know, um, let's see, uh, to direct, to guide, um, to set straight. That's that's pretty mm -hmm. much it. Um, yeah, you got it. Like uh, in that definition, it says to set straight. Yahweh Shai is speaking about the straight gate. There's only one way to mm -hmm. go in. Also, when you read the the book of Sirach, it talks about how there's fire and water on one side, of, you know, of of another, meaning it's a very narrow path and a straight path. Mm -hmm. The Lord is all about getting from point A to point B. That's why he always said. That's why he says in the scripture, "Let your yea be yea and your nay be nay." There is no indecisive or or curvy type routes. It's either you're gonna go through it or find a cheap way out. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the Lord requires us to go through what we go through. That's why he says endure like a heart, like a, uh, like a soldier. And that's why the scriptures also say we endure all things for the elect's sake. Mm -hmm. If we have to endure, that means we're going through a straight path, getting to point A to point B, where, regardless whatever whatever is in front of us. That's right. And the Lord's going to um, guide us to that direction. I got that uh, straight gate. Gone. Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye, enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way. Now, as we know, uh, that word straight is not talking about the same straight from uh, that mm -hmm. word direction. OK, that straight means position of difficulty. Mm -hmm. So like the brother said, you know, entering in at the straight gate, you got to go through these things. OK, you have to actually, you know, uh, be tried. OK, the Lord puts you, puts us through these cer certain situations to be battle tested. And it says, uh, broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Verse 14, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. You know? So, yeah, that that the way of, of reproof and, you know, getting um, getting corrected, that's the straight way. All right? You got it. That's right. So we can get that Psalm mm -hmm. 73. Okay. I'll read it for you. All right. This is uh, Psalm 73 and 23. It says, Never the, I'll start at 22. So foolish was I and arrogant. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my, my right hand. Okay. And it says, it says, Thou hast holden me by my right hand, meaning mm -hmm. the Lord holding our hands through this, man. Literally, mm -hmm. you keep. It's, he's our he's our dad. You see, when uh, just personal uh, testimony. When I was young, man, I went to Disneyland. I was a young little boy, probably six, seven years old, or whatever. Went with my family. Whose hand was I holding through the amusement park so I won't get lost? My dad, man. Mm -hmm. All right, it's the same thing in this set in this instance. Except we're holding <clears throat> the Lord uh, Yahweh. Yahweh's hand through this, man. Yahweh yeah. Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Mm, and that's the only direction. Mm -hmm. Okay? Our, really, our only direction, because the scriptures say, there's, I mean, 
really, you know, there's no such thing as free will. Hmm. So ultimately, you know, everything is the Lord's. You know, really, all we're doing is just just holding His hand and, and going where wherever He takes us. Because hey, look, as a child, you you're not the one holding your father's hand. I mean, well, uh, your father's not holding your hand. Yeah. You're holding your father's hand, so you're going to go wherever he goes. That's the direction, you know? Um, it says, uh, oh, yeah, you can keep going. Uh, mm -hmm. Verse 24 says, Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Mm -hmm. You see, it says you should guide me with thy counsel. All right? How do we get how do we get that counsel through the men he set up through your perspective camps all right and your uh, uh, perspective or uh, specific leaders that you have in each individual camp and also the examples that the apostles and elders uh, push that's your counseling okay those are your admonishments your your reproofs and your rebukes coming from mm -hmm. all right but that's what the Lord shows it through. And that's how you get guidance. The scriptures say do nothing without advice. Yep. Okay? Don't do anything without some type of admonishment. So why would you do anything without the Lord guiding you with his counsel? You see? The scriptures say in what? Proverbs 3 and 5. Lean not on thine own understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're leaning on your own understanding, you're abhorring a godly man and his godly counsel. That's right. You see? You got mm -hmm. it, bro. Yeah. You know? So, hey. Um the best thing to do is just to allow the that's what basically what we're saying is allow the spirit to guide you okay the spirit is going to take you wherever you need to go you know and that's how we're going to have to be in that day all right you know um i always bring up like uh that movie the book of eli cuz that's a perfect example of basically having a sense of direction and that direction isn't like it's not like, oh, yeah, I'm a, it's not planned out, mm -mm. you know, you're just going with the spirit. That's that's the direction. The direction is is, is to go wherever the Lord takes you, you know, because in that day, we like I said, we, we're not going to we're not going to know where the Lord's going to take us. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the Lord's going to take me to so and so and I'm going to prophesy here. No, the Lord it's going to be up in the air. Ain't no telling where we'll end up, exactly. you know. I got a precept God, for you. you got it. This is John 3 and 6. It says, That which is born of the flesh is, is flesh, mm -hmm. and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Verse 7, Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Mm -hmm. This is the point. Verse 8, The wind bloweth where it listeth, mm, yep. and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, mm -hmm. and whither it goeth. So it. is every one that is born of the spirit. So this is the Lord talking to uh, uh, to Nicodemus and saying you have to be born again. And it says, uh, he said, those who are born of the spirit is, is, is of the spirit. Okay. And we he explains what this how the spirit moves in verse 8. It goes where it goes. So if you're born in the spirit, like the, the Captain Gamal was just saying, if you in the spirit, you're going to go where you, where, where it go, where the spirit takes you. There ain't no, okay, I got this planned out, guys. Mm -hmm. We're going to go here. We're going to escape Esau here. Then we're going to flank around. Then we're going to find a, a large food stash here. And then I'm going to get spiritual powers and we're all going to teleport. No, it don't work like that. Mm -hmm. Y'all just going to... It's almost like y'all going to be aimlessly walking until the spirit hits you to give you direction to where you need to be. Yeah, yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. Like the brother mentioned in the book of Eli, he was just going. Mm -hmm. And the spirit directed him to where he needed to be. That goes to show you... We have no type of power and we lean on a source that we heavily need. Mm -hmm. You see? You know? Kind of. Were you done with that? I got something. Yeah. What is it? This is uh, Job oh, thir 33 and 15. Job 33 and mm -hmm. 15. I'll read it for you. Kinda. This is uh, Job chapter 33 and 15. It says, Yo, in a dream, um, I'll start at, can I start at 14? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says, um, uh, Job 33 and 14, for the most high speaketh once. Yeah, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. Verse 15, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed. Yeah, so verse 14, you know, the Most High speaketh, yeah, twice, yet man perceiveth not. All right, because um, who was it? Uh, 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 was it um, 
Samuel, or no, it was um, one of the prophets, um, Saul, when uh, when the Lord basically was uh, speaking to Saul, Samuel told him, um, uh, he was basically, the Lord was speaking to him, and he didn't perceive it, you know, oh, so yeah. Samuel told him, Samuel, Samuel or, or was it Eli, it was one of the prophets, I no, think it was, you talking about when he got told to go kill the Amalekites? Mm -mm, I'm talking about when um when the uh the three times when uh when when basically uh the Lord kept uh, calling him in his sleep. Oh, there was Samuel. Samuel, it right, Sam right. And Eli said, "That man's the Lord talking to you, man." Right, Sa Samuel, yeah. Eli, yeah, kind mm -hmm. the water, the water, yeah. So, yeah, because a hey, uh, uh Samuel didn't perceive that it was the Lord talking to him. So, but Eli, <laughs> Eli knew. But that's that's what this is going into. So, the Most High speak it, yeah, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. So a lot of the Lord is is speaking through our lives individually, uh uh all the time. Mm -hmm. You know? Like that like that saying is, is always um the Lord works in mysterious ways. We don't really know, you know, some some things why the Lord takes we don't really understand a lot of the things that the Lord has us go through, but at the end of the day it's for a particular purpose, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And it says, uh, keep going to 15. Bible Colin, verse 15 mm -hmm. says, in a dream, in, in a vision of the night, mm -hmm. when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. That's right. Yeah. So basically going into the Lord sealing your instruction. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, when, when you're sleeping, okay, you're in, you're getting that nice deep sleep. The Lord is working on your mind and, and you know, st sealing your instructions for that following day, yeah. you know, and that's how, you know, we are a creation. OK, we're, we we we're not of ourselves. We're not of any other power except Yahweh Hashem El Shai. You know, he he created us. He's the one. This is his program. He's the one that's that's basically uh, given us the the inspiration and the direction. That word inspiration basically means to breathe in. Mm -hmm. So he's the, he's given us the breath of life. All right. Um, that was, uh, I think that was it. Connor, um, I did want to say, like, even Connor. how he gives the instruction in our sleep. You got to think, when you're in your sleep, that's probably one of your most hu uh, hum most oh, humbly, hum humility, I don't know how to say it, most humbling state. Uh -huh, yeah, you're in the yeah. most... Humble state. Humble state. When yeah. you're asleep, mm -hmm. that is like when you sleep, you you shut up, you ain't moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You knocked out. That's yeah, when that's he could. That's yeah. when he could deal with you the mm -hmm. best. You know. That's a good point. Yeah. I got one more precept for mm -hmm. you, kind and we we can close that on this. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Isaiah 58 and 11. It says, "And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought." Mm -hmm. And make fat thy bones, and thou shalt be like a, a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. All right, just mm -hmm. like it says in um, was that Ecclesiasticus twenty four? It says uh, I think it's Ecclesiasticus twenty four. Where Yahweh Shai, pretty much Yahweh Shai says, and uh, through me I would ne you know I would never fail. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, also it says the Lord will guide thee continually to bring you out of a drought. To make you fat, you know, and that's spiritually with wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and actual literally, according to was that Isaiah what sixty five, my servant shall eat and drink. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and actually carnally, literally, he'll fill you up, man. You know, but more so in the spirit, you know. So that's all I got for you. Kind, kind, yeah, yeah. You know, so that was just a quick lesson. Um, you know, uh basically going into to uh you know the direction and you know like like we said you know we don't really understand a lot of the things that that you know a lot of times you know we may ponder about you know where we're going to end up or what what may befall of us or whatever but hey we just got to ride it out and see ride it out through the spirit and just see how the lord utilizes us you know and there's no reason for us to you know feel like we're lacking a sense of direction because at the end of the day we're we're moving towards the kingdom that's that's the direction that we're we're headed in exactly. you know um but uh but yeah lord